Hey, I just have a question. Yeah. What you were talking about swap space. What is swap space? It's like uh, it's fake memory that your computer uses when you're out of memory. So if you've only got oh. so a computer, you know how like I wish ever, I had that. Well, have you ever heard that like your computer will be slow if you don't have enough memory? Yes. Well, why is that? Because I've got a two giga, a gigahertz computer, mm -hmm. but I've only got two hundred and fifty-six megs of RAM. But it should be fast because it's two gigahertz. Right. Right. Well, what happens is your your memory chips, the the modules that are on that that motherboard, mm -hmm. are very very fast. Your hard drive, on the other hand, is quite substantially slower. So. Okay. When you are out of memory, mm -hmm. your operating system will swap some memory to the hard drive. Because the hard drive is so substantially slower oh, than the okay. memory, it slows down your computer because it's swapping that back and forth into the hard drive, which is way slower. Oh, okay. So then you upgrade your RAM to, say, 2 gigs or 4 gigs. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, your computer seems screaming fast because it has nothing to do with the processor or the speed of the computer. It has to do with your computer is now swapping to the hard drive a lot less than it used to be. Okay. Cool. Yeah, that's, and that's great. That swap space is also going to be used, like I was mentioning earlier, if you hibernate your computer, mm -hmm. uh, it's going to actually save everything that's in memory to your hard drive. So if you don't have enough swap space, then you're going to run into some problems, potentially. Windows, okay. on the other hand, uses a swap file as opposed to a swap partition. So it's a little different the way that they work it. Okay. Great, thank you. Yeah.